Two, and my reason for returning as a candidate is to give electors a choice. A different political view to the existing deputies, who nearly always block vote. They are the three Jersey Democratic Alliance candidates who were financially supported by the Unite Union, whose mandate, whose mandate is to support unsustainable wage and job demands, retaining outdated work practices and spend and spend and tax and tax the job employee creators. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last few weeks, these three deputies have continued to make public political utterings voted to increase the public spend by 7 million on public sector wage increases, 15 million on increasing departmental budgets, and recently Deputy Southern proposing an increase of 2% in social security contributions. These acts of lunacy and proposals just go to show how out of touch these deputies are with the public. These preposterous proposals failed miserably in the States. Thank goodness for common sense. Ladies and gentlemen, I want stability, common sense and a prudent Jersey to live within our means and to be seen to give and create opportunities for all. Jobs, small businesses and yes, do reward the public sector, but only when we return to good, balanced and a prosperous economy. We need policies that will give confidence to investors and job and business creators and policies that will retain our standing is a good place to invest and live and do business. Businesses are now looking for peace and calm and financially stable policies so as to show the world our qualities. With the current disgraceful behaviour of a few of our elected members, we will never achieve our aims. This personal politicking and behaviour must stop. And now you'll have a real opportunity to vote in to vote in change for the better. For scenario number two, my manifest goals remain the same as always in the past. No promises that cannot be kept. I will do my best for all. And I will continue to work hard for you. All. Remember the first that when I first elected, I stood as someone who could make a difference in personally represented people. There was no salary of 44,000, just five pound weekly for expenses. And we did it for our love of Jersey and its people. Nothing has changed with me, ladies and gentlemen. Over many years I have faithfully served and represented you. You may not always have agreed with me, but I have done my best and I remember, and remember I have represented and led delegations to several parts of the world on behalf of Jersey, and have received many compliments for my knowledge and ability to defend Jersey as an excellent place to live, work and invest. And I have held several presidencies and committees and latterly housed and minister, president for 11 years. So you can see I am able to take political responsibility and leadership and still defend the rights and aims and ambitions of ordinary people. That is why I ask you to please consider me as a new choice, a different political choice of the one you've got at the present time. And I ask you please to consider me for one of your votes on the 19th of October. Thank you.